Before a user can access a file on a Unix-like machine, the file system that contains it needs to be mounted with the mount command. Frequently mount is used for SD card, USB storage, DVD and other removable storage devices. The mount command instructs the operating system that a file system is ready to use, and associates it with a particular point in the overall file system hierarchy and sets options relating to its access. Mounting makes file systems, files, directories, devices and special files available for use and available to the user. Its counterpart amount instructs the operating system that the file system should be disassociated from its mount point, making it no longer accessible and may be removed from the computer. It is important to amount a device before removing it since changes to files may have only partially been written and are completed as part of the amount. The mount and amount commands require root user privilege to effect changes. Alternately, specific privileges to perform the corresponding action may have been previously granted by the root user. A file system can be defined as user mountable in the FSTAB file by the root user. Use display all mounted partitions. This example will mount the second partition of a HDD and will unmount or to remount a partition with specific options. Derivatives and wrappers, PMOUNT is a wrapper around the standard mount program which permits normal users to mount removable devices without a matching FSTAB entry. This provides a robust basis for auto-mounting frameworks like GNOME's Utopia project and keeps the usage of root to a minimum. This package also contains a wrapper PMOUNT HAL, which reads information such as device labels and mount options from HAL and passes it to PMOUNT. The no mount package contains programs for mounting, unmounting and ejecting storage devices. The goal for no mount is for GNOME software such as GNOME Volume Manager and GNOME VFS to use this instead of invoking mount eject PMOUNT or direct HAL invoking methods. GNOME previously used PMOUNT. Note. No mount is not intended for direct use by users. All the no mount programs utilize HAL methods and as such run unprivileged. The rationale for no mount is to have a centralized place where settings such as mount options and mount locations are maintained. As with all Unix-like commands, the options are specific to the version of mount and are precisely detailed in its man page. In addition to the system call mount, the function mount root mounts the first, or root file system. In this context mount is called by the system call setup. See also, mount. References. External links, mount, 1, a Euro version 7 Unix programmer's manual, mount, 8, a Euro Linux administration and privileged commands manual, mount, 8, a Euro free BSD system manager's manual, PMOUNT, 1, a Euro Linux user commands manual, no mount, 1, a Euro Linux user commands manual.